Hello all, this is Neil from Edureka and welcome to this interesting session on Internet of Things projects. Now in this session we will be talking about the top 7 projects which are outstanding themselves in the Internet of Things domain. Now before we talk about each of these projects, let me start off with a simple introduction to what is Internet of Things. Internet of Things basically is a concept or a technology which aims to connect all the devices to the internet and help them communicate with each other using the internet as a medium. Now these devices can be anything. It could be a TV, it could be a mobile phone, it could be a watch, even your car as such. Anything that can be connected to the internet can be considered as a device for Internet of Things. The intention of using internet as a medium of communication is to help you achieve a wider and a greater reach with respect to these devices. Again, the end aim of Internet of Things is to help you create a smart world that's out there. Now let's talk about each of these projects. Let's start with number seven, which is a biometric system. Now a biometric system is something that we always encounter on our daily basis as well, because we always either use a fingerprint sensor or we use an iris scanning. So it depends from organization to organization. But how does this actually work? The system there, let's take in case of this example, has a fingerprint scanner. Now the first time that I'm presenting my fingerprint, it scans the fingerprint and considers this as part of an enrollment process. From this fingerprint template, what it does is that it extracts certain key features which makes it different from others and stores it into a database. From then forward, every time that I place my finger on top of this fingerprint scanner, it creates a template and compares this with all the templates that's present in the database. If it matches, then it correspondingly, let's say, gives me an attendance or lets me access a door. If it does not, then it raises an alert with respect to that same. Now, this is just a foundation. Now, as I said, this biometric system can be fingerprint, it can be iris scanning, or it can be a combination of both as well. Voice recognition system is one of the key products in the biometric domain. Next, we have smart irrigation system. Now, I am someone who personally likes gardening a lot. Now, this is something that would really make my life easier. Because usually what I do is that on Sundays, I spend about two hours just watering and looking after my plants. Through a smart irrigation system, what it does is that it checks the moisture present in the environment or in the water lanes that I have created. Now, to help you understand how it works, usually there are two main Internet of Things devices that are used here, which is the Arduino board and the Raspberry Pi. Your Raspberry Pi becomes the main processing unit and I place an Arduino board for each of my water channels. These Arduino boards themselves are connected to multiple sensors which are part of this water channel. So what these sensors do is that they check the moisture present in these lanes as such. So let's say a specific lane does not meet the minimum required moisture. Then what it would do is that it would send a signal to the Raspberry Pi. Again, all these devices are connected on the same wireless router network and the Raspberry Pi would identify the lack of moisture and pass a signal to the relay. The relay in turn would initiate the water pump and water would be pumped. Now, in order to ensure that water is not wasted, we would create gate controls and only the gate where the moisture is less would the gate be open. Once my sensor detects that the moisture level has gone beyond my required level, it would again send another signal to the Raspberry Pi asking it to stop the pump as well. So this in turn helps you to save a lot of water and also makes your life quite easier as well. So after this, your only task in your garden would be either setting up new plants or creating new water channels as such. The next project in our list is a security camera and door unlock system. Now this is something that's quite interesting and I've personally tried this out and it's really something that you should try out as well. Here what happens is that you place a camera on top of a door which in turn clicks the photo of a person who comes into the frame. Now this photo is again sent to an analytical system which in turn compares this with all the photos that it possesses in order to identify whether to let the user open the door or not. Now an evolution to this is that if it does not find the photo of that person, it can notify the concerned person that so and so person is trying to access this door. Would you like to authorize this person and add his information to the database or would you like to deny the access to this person as well? Usually this is used in areas where you have high sensitive information stored in order to maintain a strict control to the access to this information as well. Another usage of the security camera and door unlock system can be even at our homes when we can identify who's come at our home when we're not there and either decide to give them access to our homes or not. Now the next thing is something that we all really desire to have which is a smart home system. A smart home system can be something that really makes our life quite easy. 
starting from energy management where the light control systems the ac the appliances that we use the thermostat all this is managed in short trying to cut down the power consumption that's taking place my door management system is also part of this my security system is also part of this my water management system again becomes a part of this as well again these are key things that really stands out in the smart home system but again what i would personally recommend is that a smart home's limitations is where our imagination stops anything that you wish to automate or make wish to make your life easier can be part of a smart home system as well now a smart home usually is going to be a base for our next project which is a smart city a smart city is an evolution of a smart home here it's not just the sensors of a single home that is connected here it's a correlation or a network or a connection between various organizations various domains as well as various segments of that city as a whole as such here the life of every single dependent person in that city becomes easier as a whole as well and in turn will really help develop that city to greater extents as such now the key factor here for a smart city is a government support as well and if governments are really willing to take this step then i hope we would see a smart city completely built on internet of things maybe in the next 5 to 10 years as well now the next project is something that really stands out on a personal level this is zelda's ocarina controlled home automation system this is personally something that i feel is the closest to a smart home system where most of the elements of the home is completely controlled by an ocarina what alan pan has done here is that he's created a node based recognition system which completely automates his home next on our list at number 1 if you've not already guessed is jarvis jarvis is the artificial intelligence system that facebook's creator mark zuckerberg has built for his home automated system i'm quite sure you've already seen the video of mark zuckerberg interacting with jarvis which has morgan freeman's voice now what you need to understand here is that internet of things is not something that's just dependent on a sensor or a few sensors which is connected to a raspberry pi on arduino port when i look at the entire architecture of iot this is a complete ecosystem wherein my sensors gather information which is again stored on a platform and then processed on this now if there have been any issues or failures that have been reported by these sensors then i need to create actionable items in order to ensure that this is never really repeated again but the information once it's been processed the process data is then passed into machine learning and artificial intelligence in order to understand analyze and identify various patterns that's out there and help pass this information on back to the sensor this in turn helps you have a better experience and also improve the system as a whole a system where i come home every day at 8:30 start off my ac wait for 15 minutes for it to cool down is a tedious process but say today my internet of things platform identifies this pattern already switches on the ac at 8:15 then i just need to come home and i can relax right away this is just one of the key examples or one of the key ideas that's out there today and the limitation here again is just your imagination so with this we're going to come to a conclusion of this video but we are going to come up with a lot more videos on internet of things and the various projects around that so if there's some project that really you want to know more about please let us know in the comment section below with this thank you and goodbye